Yu-Gi-Oh! Tool Links! We're here, it's nine o'clock, we're live. <sighs> Hello, it's nine o'clock at night. Uh, why is my game not full screen? Hold on, gotta make change. Hold on, where is it? Where are you? Mm, let's see, there we are. Yes. Yes, go full screen, thank you. All right, here we go. New box is out. Uh, I kind of glanced over it earlier. Um, haven't really looked at it, so let's go through it, and uh, we'll see if we can do some booster pack opening. Got a few gems, so we can open more than five packs this time around. <laughs> let's see what we got here. Okay, oh. Uh, oh, I finally unlocked her. Yeah, I didn't unlock her during the, the whole time when she was unlockable at first. But I unlocked her now, so that's good. Got some more gems that way. Look, 1,200 gems we have. Very nice. All right, let's hop on over to the box. And we'll take a look. It does have fur hire support. It has lots of Infernity stuff, of course. Um, let's kind of take a look here. Um, Infernity Arc Fiend. When you draw this card, if you have no other cards in your hand, you can reveal this card. Special summon this card from your hand. When this card is special summoned, you can add one Infernity card from your deck to your hand. You must have no cards in your hand to activate and resolve this effect. Okay. Uh, Goyo Guardian. Uh, we already kind of know what this guy does. It's nice that we can actually own him now. Uh, he'd be actually... Huh. He'd be useful right now. Although I already have one. Um, but I guess... Uh, I don't know. Um, I guess everybody kind of has one right now. So I guess if you want a second one, um, there you go. Um, more Goyo Guardians. Um, it's a good card. It just, you know, it's kind of limited in a way because you have to use a, an Earth Tuner. So if you don't have an Earth Tuner um, in your deck, then yeah, you can't really use that. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, Demise, King of Armageddon. This card can only be Ritual Summoned with the Ritual Spell card, End of the World. You can pay 2,000 life points to destroy all cards on the field except this one. Uh, it's not a terrible card. Um, I don't know if it's worthy of being an ultra rare, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, Ruin, Queen of Oblivion. Um, can use End of the World for this one as well. This card destroys an opponent's monster by battle. It can attack once again in a row. That's pretty good. Although she does have a lower attack. She's a 2300 attacker uh, and an 8 star monster. But that extra attack can really be pretty useful. Let's see what else we got here. Simorg, Bird of Bringing. What are you bringing, Birdie? When this card is normal summoned, you can add one Simorg card from your deck to your hand, except Simorg, Bird of Bringing. This card is in your graveyard, and your opponent controls no cards in their spell and trap zone. You can special summon this card in defense position, but banish it when it leaves the field. Okay. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn, except Winged Beast type monsters. You can only use each effect of Simorg, Bird of Bringing once per turn. Uh, kind of an interesting card um, for a very particular deck type. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Simorg of Darkness. Lots of Simorg stuff here, huh? <clears throat> While face by the field, this card is also Wind Attribute. Okay. <clears throat> you can only use each of the, of the following effects of Simorg of Darkness once per turn. If you tribute summon a Dark or Wind monster, you can special summon this card from the graveyard. Oh, that's not bad. If it was there when the monster was tribute summoned. Okay. Or hand even if not. Okay. Interesting. So it's got two little kickbacks there. Okay. When a spell trap card or effect is activated, quick effect, you can tribute one wi uh, wind winged beast type monster. Negate the activation if you do destroy that card. <clears throat> A little long winded there with all these effects. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Moving on, <laughs> the Weather Painter Snow. When this card is normal summoned, you can place one the Weather Spell ca spell Trap 
from your deck and face uh, face up in your spell trap card zone. Okay, you can only use this effect of the Wither Painter Snow once per turn. Once per turn during standby phase of the turn after this card is banished from the field to activate a the Weather card's effect, you can special summon this banished card. That's interesting. The only thing is that it has to be normal summon. And of course with zero attack, you're basically throwing up a you know, a monster that's gonna get absolutely annihilated pretty quickly. So, um Yeah. Um <laughs> interesting card. I'm sure there are different ways to use this. Uh, plus it keeps coming back when it's banished. So that's pretty neat. Let's see what else we got here. We got oh, we got uh, wannabe Wolverine. X Saber Air Bellum. If this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by direct attack, discard one random card from your opponent's hand. Not terrible. There's not a lot of hand control in Duel Links, I've noticed. In the old school game, there was a ton of hand control. Now there really isn't a lot here, so this is a little different. Again, I don't know if he's worthy of being an ultra rare, but it is what it is. <clears throat> Ribbon of Rebirth. During the end phase, if the equipped monster was destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard this turn, special summon it from the graveyard to your side of the field. Well, that's not bad. We got down here, super rares. Notoria Barkian. <laughs> so, it looks like a dragon. It's weird looking. Yeah, it is a dragon. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. One earth tuner plus one more non-tuner earth monsters. During the player's turn, when a trap card is activated, you can banish two cards from your graveyard, negate the activation, and if you do destroy it, this card must be faced upon the field to activate and to resolve this effect. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Banishing the two cards is a little rough. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's, I'm feeling that way about a lot of these cards. Simorg, Bird of Beginning. Didn't we have... Oh, Bird of Bringing. Okay, so that guy's bringing. This is the beginning. Okay. Hey, Borg, what's going on? When this card is normal summoned, you can activate this effect during your main phase this turn. You can normal summon one Simorg monster in addition to your normal summon. Hmm. You can only gain this effect once per turn. If this card is in your graveyard and your opponent controls no cards in their spell trap zone, you can special summon this card in defense position, but banish it when it leaves the field. You... Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn, except winged beast type monsters. You can only use the, uh, each effect of some more bird of beginning once per turn. Interesting. Uh, oh, the Odd Eyes monsters. Odd Eyes Saber Dragon. If this card is in your hand, you can tribute one light monster, send one Odd Eyes Dragon from your hand, deck, or your side of the field to the graveyard. And if you do, Special summon this card. When this card destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can destroy one monster your opponent controls. That's not terrible. The Odd Eyes monsters are, are pretty decent. Some of them are pretty decent. Of course, it's weird seeing Odd Eyes um, monsters in this game that does not have Pendulum Summoning. Watch Cat. Oh, this guy's pretty good. If you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. During your end phase, if this card was special summoned this turn, you can banish this card, set one continuous spell directly from your deck. You can only use each effect of Watch Cat <laughs> once per turn. Good kitty. <laughs> we got here Cursed Fig. Okay, that thing looks evil. Uh, when this card is destroyed by battle instead of the graveyard, target two spell trap cards on the field. While this card is in the graveyard, those set cards cannot be. Oh. Wow. Hmm. That could be very interesting. The only thing is that, let me see. I think to get the effect going, yeah, because the way the wording says here is to get this effect, there have to be at least two set spell or trap cards. And it doesn't matter which side of the field they're on. And the, and the interesting thing is, is that this is not optional. It's going to do it one way or the other. It's, yeah, you can't choose to not do it. So you could actually end up locking down your own cards. Hmm. Give and take, man. Infernity Launcher. Once per turn, you can send one Infernity Monster from your hand to the graveyard. 
You can send this card to the graveyard, then target up to two infantry monsters in your graveyard, special summon them. You must have no cards in your hand to activate and resolve this effect. Expected. All the infantry support. Simorg Onslaught. Discard one winged beast monster. Add two Simorg monsters with different attributes from your deck to your hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Reveal one winged beast type monster in your hand. And if you do, reduce the levels of monsters in your hand with that name by one for the rest of this turn, even after they are summoned. You can only activate one Simorg Onslaught per turn. The Weather Snowy Canvas. The weather effect monsters in your main monster zones of this card's column and its adjacent columns gain this effect. You can banish this card, quick effect, add one the weather card from your deck to your hand. Also, you cannot add cards from your deck to your hand for the rest of this turn, except by drawing them. You can only activate one control, the weather snowy canvas. It's kind of weird reading those cards because they keep seeing the weather the weather. I mean, I understand why they're having to name it the weather or having to refer to it as the weather cards because that's, you know, it's still a little awkward reading that. The weather thundery canvas. <clears throat> the weather effect monsters in your main monster zones of this card's column and its adjacent columns gain this effect. At the start of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can banish this card, return that mo uh, opponent's monsters to the hand. You can only activate one the weathery thunder the weather thundery canvas. <laughs> Interesting card. Gotham's emergency call. If a face-up X Saber monster is on the field, target two X Saber monsters in any graveyard special summon both to your side of the Wow. That's pretty strong, actually. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Saber hole. Lots of holes here. Activate only while you control a face-up X Saber monster. Negate the summon of a monster and destroy it. Wow, that's good. So it's normal summon or special summon. So yeah, that's a counter trap. Pretty good if you're running X Sabers. I would say that's that's a definite. Because again, it's a counter trap. So yeah, that's pretty darn good. Alright, let's move on to the rares. Demise, Agent of Armageddon. I think this is just a powered down version of his big brother, uh, the king. Yeah, this is just the agent. Uh, let me see, let me see. You can ritual summon this card, cycle of the world. This card's name is become Demise, King of Armageddon. While in the hand or on the field, if this card is ritual summon, destroy one face-up monster on your on the field. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one ritual monster you control. Well, it is face-up on the field. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to the activation of your ritual monster's effects. That's a mouthful. Uh, same thing here, Ruin, Angel, Angel of Oblivion. Again, the little sister. Uh, let's see, Ritual Summon this card, Cycle of the World. This card's name becomes Ruin, Queen of Oblivion, Oblivion, while in the hand or on the field. If this card is Ritual Summoned, it can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. Okay, so that's where it's limited there. It, it can only make attacks against monsters. So it can't attack a monster, destroy it, and then attack directly. It has to be two monsters. Okay. During each battle phase this turn, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one ritual monster you control. While it is face up on the field, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects when your ritual monsters declare an attack. Infernity Randomizer. Once per turn, while you have no cards in your hand, you can draw one card and reveal it. For a monster card drawn with this effect, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the level of that monster times 200. For a spell or trap card, you take 500 damage. <laughs> That kind of sucks. Uh, Simorg Bird of Calamity. Lots of birds. They're really doing lots of birds in this set, huh? Kind of wanting to skip over them. I, d I doubt I'm going to build a deck of birds. Uh, Simorg Bird of Protection. Yeah, lots of birds. Odd Eyes Dragon. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the original attack of that monster in the graveyard. Again, it's so weird seeing Odd Eyes cards <laughs> when there's no pendulum. Yeah, I mean, this is not a pendulum monster, but anytime I, anytime I think of Odd Eyes, especially Odd Eyes Dragon, I always think of Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. So that's a little, 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 little odd. This isn't a terrible card. The only thing about this card is it's a seven star, so it's a two tribute monster. Um, it has a decent effect, um, but without pendulums, 
for the ease of summoning via Pendulum Summon, it's a little harder to make work. I still think it's a decent card, but without Pendulum Summoning, it's a little little awkward. Perform Performer Pile Skeeter Skimmer. Oh, there's a lot of Performer Pile stuff in here. So we've got the Skimmer, the Swordfish, Thunder Rhino, <laughs> the, the, the Friend Donkey, <laughs> the Flip Hippo, and I think there's a few others. These are just the these are just the rares, but yeah, this this set has a lot of Performer Pile stuff. So again, I'm used to seeing Performer Pal stuff with uh, with Pendulums, so this seems a little odd. What we got here? Weather Painter Sun, Weather Painter Thunder, Philo Messenger for Hire. One of the new, well, not new, but one of the extra for hire cards they're now adding to the game here. Um, yeah, the thing about this card is even... Even in Link Evolution, I don't use this card in my Fur Hire deck. Um, during your main phase, you can special summon one Monster for Hire from your hand, except Philo Messenger for Hire. If a Monster for Hire is special summoned to your field while you control this monster, except during the damage step, you can target one Monster for Hire in your graveyard, special summon it in defense position, but place it on the bottom of the deck if it leaves the field. You can only use each effect of Philo Messenger for Hire once per turn. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I mean, he's, the effect is okay. Um, it's kind of similar to the other for higher monsters, um, but the problem is, yeah, he's zero attack, zero defense. There are just better for higher options. So I guess if you want to try it, go ahead. Um, I'm just not a huge fan of this card. Uh, more Crocker and Maru stuff. Uh, Hunter Owl. Eh. Cycle of the World. That's for the Oblivion monsters. Weather Cloudy Canvas. Core Overclock. More Performer Pal stuff. If a monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect special summon one Performer Pal monster from your hand or graveyard. Looks useful. Performer Pal Call. When an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, target that attacking monster and negate the attack. And if you do, add up to two Performer Pal monsters from your deck to your hand whose total defense is less than or equal to the attack of the targeted monster. Uh, until the end of your next turn, if this card resolves, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck. Interesting. Uh, that's got a pretty big limit on it. This would... Okay, the interesting thing is that because we don't have Pendulum Summoning, this card is actually slightly better. <laughs> Again, because Performer Pal stuff, there's I always, you know, kind of match that up with uh, Pendulum cards. Um, but if Pendulum were in the game, then, yeah, you wouldn't be able to use Pendulum Summoning. But I guess since there is no pendulum summoning, it doesn't hurt that. So, weird. Uh, what do we got here? Skull Bird, useless. Uh, Performer Pal Spike Eagle, more of these Performer Pal cards. Uh, the Stamp Turtle, once per turn you can target up to two face-up monsters on the field, increase their levels by one. Uh, Elephammer. <laughs> that artwork is so goofy. The Elephammer. Uh, Bowhopper, yeah, lots of Performer Pal stuff here. If you want to do a Performer Pal deck that doesn't use Pendulum, uh, I guess this is the pack for you, man. Lots of Performer Pal stuff here. Uh, Bot Eyes Lizard, uh, Life Swordsman Performer Pal, uh, Sky Pupil, Weather Painter Rain, Weather Painter Cloud, Helmer, Helmsman for Hire. This is another one of those cards that in Link Evolution, I do not use this card. It's not bad. Uh, I just, yeah, I don't really see a need for it uh, in Link Evolution. Uh, during your main phase, you can special summon one monster for hire from your hand, except Helmer, Helmsman for hire. If a monster for hire is special summoned to your field while you control this monster, except during the damage step, you can discard one card for hire, draw one card. You can only use each effect of Helmer, Helmsman for hire once per turn. In Duel Links, this is not going to be a great card. Um, I just don't see it, uh, because... Generally, with for higher decks, um, you search so much. At least, I mean, again, I'm kind of doing... I'm kind of thinking of this more as a Link Evolution deck and not Duel Links. Because uh, I actually never played for higher in Duel Links. I only play them in Link Evolution. So, I don't know. Maybe this will be a good card. Um, 
it's just a normal rarity it's not you know a hard to get card so again i guess if you want to try it go for it um this card is the card that i actually like the best out of all of these uh bravo fighter for hire during your main phase you can special summon one monster for hire from your hand except bravo fighter for hire if a monster for hire is special summoned to your field while you control this monster except during the damage step you can have all monsters for hire currently on the field gain 500 attack and defense until the end of this turn you can only use each effect of bravo fighter for hire once per turn i like bravo um i used three copies of him in my link evolution deck and for him to be a normal monster i mean because by himself he's uh, a fire reptile 19 attacker which is good and then he still has his uh, effects that you can use too and a lot of people I, i've already talked to somebody about him and they were like well it's only plus 500 but yeah but it hits all of your monsters and sometimes that can mean the difference between getting over a monster or not uh, those are the three new for hire cards we've already come across the helmer uh, bravo and then that other little thing <laughs> uh, i'm still a little bummed that we don't have rafael rafael would be amazing um, but bravo i think it's probably out of these three new cards bravo is probably the best one but again he's just a normal so he's easy to get uh, X-Saber Urruz. Hey, Archie. Uh, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends to the graveyard, you contribute this card to return the destroyed card to the top of the owner's deck. Interesting card. Helio Trice Majestus. <laughs> uh, you can special summon this card by attributing one Helio Duis Majestus. This card's attack and defense are equal to the number of remove from play monsters times 300. After this a card attacks, it can attack once more if your opponent controls a monster. If this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, special summon it during the end phase and it gains 500 attack and defense. Poison Mummy, uh, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. It's actually not terrible if you think about it. <laughs> Considering it's a, it's a normal rarity, uh, 18 defender with 500 immediate damage, and it's an earth zombie. It's not terrible. <clears throat> Burning algae. When this card is sent to the graveyard, increase your opponent's life points by one thousand. <laughs> that works in very specific situations, but yeah, <laughs> not the not the greatest card. Uh, Abaki. You've already seen this card. What's his name? Um, Scud has it. This card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard by battle. Both players take five hundred damage. Uh, Kahugi, Temple of Skulls. These are just fillers. Yeah, Sleeping Lion. Wing, guard, wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress 2. There's End of the World. It's just our normal. Very easy to get. Breaking the World. Illusion Balloons. Performa Pal Recasting. Again, more Performa Pal stuff. The Weather Sunny Canvas. Magical Star Illusion. Smile World. All face-up monsters currently on the field. Gain one attack for each monster currently on the field until the end of this turn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think that's just that's just a filler card. <laughs> uh, last minute cancel again for perform foul stuff. When an opponent's monster declares an attack while you control an attack position monster, change all monsters you control to defense position. For the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, return any face up perform foul monsters you control uh, that is destroyed by battle or card effect to the hand instead of sending it to the graveyard. Hmm. Interesting card. The weather a rural canvas. Call of the Grave. This is <laughs> this is a filler card if I've if I've ever seen one. This is complete filler. It's when your opponent activates Monster Reborn, negate its effects. You can't even get Monster Reborn out of a box yet. <laughs> this is yeah. They were just looking for cards to just throw in here, and that's exactly what this is. Uh, it's, it's such a. I mean, even seriously, even in uh hey Moni. even in the uh in the tcg this this was a card we just simply never played it was a tournament pack card uh so it was actually hard to get because you could only get it out of tournament packs um and it's still rare today uh but that doesn't excuse the fact that it's almost useless when you put it its monster but it's it's so specific <laughs> it's kind of like there's another card out there called anti regeki which i think was also a tournament pack card uh, and again, it only negates, it only negates the the Regeki card. 
uh they knew what they were doing though odd eyes will sell buffs well uh, see that's the thing man uh odd eyes without pendulum summoning feels weird because again in link evolution uh it's really easy to get him out because of pendulum summoning but without pendulum summoning uh he's he's not that easy to get out he still has a decent effect he's still a decent monster but he's just not nearly as easy to get out because pendulum via pendulum summoning he's so easy to get out uh, michael white says what was kaiba doing to that girl on the table <laughs> he's he's uh, yelling at her he's calling her a, a third a third rate duelist with a fourth fourth rate deck <laughs> he's mean to little children we have to do something about him Let's see, where we call the grave? Okay, and then Robin Zombie. Each time one monster on your side of the field inflicts battle damage to your opponent's life points, your opponent sends one card from the top of their deck to the graveyard. That's actually not terrible. That's a, that's a mill card. That one saw some play in the old school TCG. Some play. Um, it's it's basically a retrain. Um, there was another car, a card called Robin Goblin. And this is basically a slightly powered down version of that card. Because Robin Goblin would pull from the hand, so it did hand control. This one just mills from the deck. So yeah, it's a retrain. X Saber Souza, this is a reprint. Uh, lots of reprints here. There are a lot of reprints in this box. Uh, some more Bird of Divinity, X Saber Embers, Embers Blade. Uh, I already got three of this. Uh, and then we've got Donpa, Marksman for Hire, yes, the reprint. Recon, Scout for Hire, reprint. Key Mouse, Mayhem for Hire. I guess if you didn't get any of these cards from the old box, I guess this is good. But the thing is that if you're going to actually build a for hire deck and you don't already have cards like Beat, then you're going to have to dig back into the old box anyway. So it's kind of dumb. I mean, I understand why they're putting these in here. Again, it's mostly filler, I think. But if you have to dig back into the old box to get beat and to get cards like Wiz uh, and um, the other guy, the 25 attacker, I forget his name, uh, then you're probably going to already end up with copies of these cards. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to reprint them other than just to make them filler. Same, th same thing with Mayhem for Hire. It just... You're going to end up with copies of those cards. Look, I didn't even try to build a fur higher deck, yet I've got multiple copies of these cards. So yeah, there you go. <clears throat> X-Saber Axle. I only got one copy of that card, so that'll be nice. That's actually some really nice artwork. I like that. Let's see. While you control this face-up card, when a Saber monster uh, is destroyed by battle instead of the graveyard, draw one card. You know, if I decide to dig into this box a lot, I think I'm going to build an X-Saber deck. Because there's so much X Saber stuff in here. Even the reprints, I don't really have copies of. Look, see, I don't have that. I don't have. I only have one copy of Axel. Might as well do it, right? Kwaki Maru reprint. Uh, more reprints. More reprints. Storm and Wind. Yeah, reprint, reprint. Hella fun. Uh, training for Hire. More reprint. And the button pulls. They put a lot of reprints in this set. They really did. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 reprints. It feels like a lot, man. Um, it really does feel like a lot. And they're, they're having a harder and harder time trying to fill these packs. They're trying to fill these boxes with cards. But we're actually going to buy some packs because there are a few cards in here that I want to try out. Like I said, the X-Saber stuff looks neat. Uh, if I get X-Saber, I definitely want the Saber Hole, and I definitely want Gotham's. thought Dre said something about a new for hire card coming out. What happened? There are three new for hire cards. Um, here, just in case. I know you got here a little late. Yeah, Bravo for hire. He's in here. He's only a normal monster or a normal rarity. Here he is, Bravo Fighter for hire. Uh, this is the guy that I used in Link Evolution. So you probably recognize him. Uh, during your main phase, you can special summon one monster for hire from your hand, except Bravo Fighter for hire. If a monster for hire is special summoned to your field while you control this monster, except during the damage step, you can have all monsters for hire currently on the field gain 500 attack and defense until the end of this turn. You can only use 
Each effective Brawler Fighter for hire once per turn. Of the three new fur hire monsters, he is the most useful, I think. Nah, he's only a normal. I expected him, I seriously, I expected him to be a super rare. Because he's not, like, deathly amazing, but he is a good for hire card. He is one of the better for hire cards. Just the fact that he's a 19 attacker and a 4 star, so he's easy to get out. Um, you know, and he can usually stay on the field for a little bit. Uh, I think he's a good card. The fact that they put him as a normal is surprising. I guess it's good for people who want to build for hire. Um, then there's also the Helmer, which again, um, I've mentioned it in Link Evolution, but I don't play with it. This card is going to be okay. I think this will be more of a filler card than anything uh, until they get different stuff. Uh, but yeah, Helmer, he's okay. Then there's also, what was the other one? Oh, here we go. Uh, Philo, Messenger of Hire. I don't, I'm not crazy about this card. I do not play with this card either. So, yeah. During your main phase, you can special summon one monster for hire from your hand. Except Philo, if a monster for hire is special summoned to your side of the field while you control this monster, you can target one monster for hire in your graveyard, special summon it in defense position. That's good for Wiz. Uh, but place it on the bottom of the deck if it leaves the field. You can only use the effect, each effect of Philo, Messenger for Hire once per turn. So yeah, the, all, all the abilities are mostly the same except for that one thing, that one extra thing that they tend to do. Like Bravo does plus 500, this guy lets you special summon from the graveyard. Uh, Helmer, what does Helmer do? Uh, oh yeah, you can discard a card to draw one card. Yeah. So Helmer's okay. Philo, eh, I'm not crazy about Philo, but I like Bravo. I think Bravo's the big card that people are going to want to get if they want to do for hire. Plus, like I said, he's a normal. It's a normal rarity, so he's going to be easy to get. You could buy probably five packs and probably get him. Uh, but the other cards, like the super rares and the ultra rares, um, a lot of these cards I don't feel deserve their rarities. Um, Goyo Guardian, he's a good card, so I guess it makes sense, although he's already in the game. Uh, Infinity Arc Fiend, I don't think he deserves to be ultra rare. I think he's super rare at best. Demise and Ruin, I think, are super rare at best. Same thing with this. Uh, Samorg, uh, both of the Samorgs, I believe those should be super rares. This one, uh, Weather Painter Snow, Ultra Rare sounds right for this one. X Saber, uh, Air Bellum, I don't think he should be Ultra. I think he should be Super. Ribbon of Rebirth, that kind of makes sense as Ultra Rare. Naturia should not even be a Super Rare. This guy, Barkian, he should not even be a super rare. Yeah, there's a lot of cards in here that I think are... The Odd Eye Saber Dragon, that, mm, that sounds like super rare status. That sounds right. The Watch Cat sounds like a super rare. Uh, Cursed Fig, mm, I'd go with a rare, not super rare. Infinity the Launcher, yeah, super rare. Some Morgan Slot should be a rare. Weather Snowy Canvas, super rare sounds right. Thundering Canvas, that sounds about right. Gotham's and Saber Hole for Super Rare, those sound right too. But yeah, there's quite a few that should not be the rarity that they are, at least in my opinion. <laughs> but yeah, the big cards that I'll probably go for here are the Gotham's and the Saber Hole. Because if I can get if I can get two copies of each of those, thank you for the follow, I appreciate that. <laughs> Triple gaming. <laughs> uh, if I can get two copies of each of those cards out of this box, I'm definitely going to build X Sabers. Because, let me see, the only other X Saber that would be hard to get is going to be this guy. Um, and you don't necessarily need him for the deck. Because his, his effect is kind of... It doesn't really have to mesh with any of the other cards. It just it is what it is. But yeah, this card and this card are good. So yeah, if I can get multiple copies of these, I'm definitely going to make, make an X Sabers. And see how it runs. But, enough chit chat. What do you say we open some packs? Well, let's do it. All right, let's see how many. I have 1,203 gems, so I can open, what, 24 packs? Should we just do all 24? I don't mind doing 24. I mean, there's enough good cards in here that I would be okay with spending all my gems on this. It's not like I have a ton of gems. Plus, I finally got that Speedroid Kendama <laughs> from the last box. I finally got two copies of that card, and I built the Speed Ride deck, and I like it. That Speed Ride deck is fun. It's not super dominating, but it's a fun deck. All right, let's see what we got. Firebird, the donkey, 
and Philo. Already got Philo. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we get. Any flashy stuff. I don't think it's going to be you know, Life Swordsman. Oh, we already got a Helmer and a Hunter Owl. Well, now all we need is Bravo. <laughs> yeah, we're getting those uh, for hire cards pretty fast here. End of the World. Call of the Grave. Thunder Rhino. How many, t how many packs did it get to finally get the Spirit Race? Here's the interesting thing. I was already, because I had reset the box uh, multiple times already. And I think I burned through like 240 packs before I finally got the first Kendama. Here's the funny thing. 240 packs to get the first Kendama. I got my second Kendama two packs later. <laughs> it's just, it's so stupid sometimes. But the good thing is that because I had to open so many damn packs, by the time I got my second copy of Kendama, I had all the Speedroid cards I needed. So all I had to do was just build the deck. And even now I need to change it up a little bit. I'm just practicing with it. But it's, like I said, it's not super competitive, but it's fun. It's a fun deck. So yeah, I burned through a lot of gems on that box. Helmer, Sky Pupil, Simorg. Ooh, we got the flashy eyes. Guardian of the Fortress. Swordfish. Oh, yeah, that was in the show. Yeah, the Swordfish is in the show. Really? Another Philo. All right, five packs. No, no foil cards yet. Oh, flashy eyes again. Bot eyes lizard. Abaki. Uh, the cursed fig. Uh, oops, we got flashies again. Last minute cancel. Mm, the weathery cloudy canvas. The only spell card that I think I'd be happy to get would probably be the ribbon. The other cards, like the infernity stuff and the weather stuff. I, I'm not really crazy about. Oh, we're gonna get. I think we're getting the Angel of Oblivion. Small world. Oh, it's Demise, the brother. Okay. Yeah, we're not really getting a lot of great stuff here. Sky people again. Sleeping lion. Oh, look, he's foil. <laughs> and a swordfish again. That swordfish looks so goofy. He's like, look at my mouth. It's just goofy. Please give me something good here. Please. Or not. Uh, Hydro Barrier. Painter Thunder. Bird of Calamity. Yeah, that was those 10 packs were pretty underwhelming. Minimal reprints, so I guess that's good. Uh, but yeah, all we got was the Fig. <laughs> which I have no use for right now. I mean, it's not a terrible card. It's just I don't have a use for it. They made an archetype called the weather yes there is a whole archetype called the weather i actually have some of the weather cards in real life here in my collection uh, so i was already familiar with them the, and i was saying earlier when you read the card descriptions when they refer to the cards they always refer to them as the weather cards so it's kind of strange reading them all right 10 more packs come on give me some give me some gotems or some saber holes Nothing big here either. Another Abaki. Call of Darkness. Oh. All monsters restored. The monster reborn are sent to the graveyard. Monster reborn also cannot be played as long as the card remains on the field. So dumb. Another Thunder Rhino. Come on, man. I'm already getting duplicates here. It's a mad duplication. Give me a Bravo at least. Recasting. Halo Trice Majestus. Perform Paul Call. Poison Mummy, that's not a bad card. I actually like that card. Fly Swordsman. Another Samorn. Come on, man. Stop giving me duplication here. We got Flashy Eyes. 
X Saber Axel. Actually, that's good. I needed copy with him. Skullbird. Ugh, another Hunter Owl. Come on. Who? Big flashies. So it's a monster. Um, I'd probably be happy with the Airbellum or the Cat. If you give me another fig, I'm getting annoyed. Okay, so Bellum or the Cat. Robin Zombly. Ugh. Some more bird beginning. I did not want that card. Train for hire. Call of the Grave. Mayhem for hire. Ugh. That whole pack was just terrible. <laughs> just a bad pack. End of the world. Saber Ember's Blade. I think I needed more copies of that card, I think. Well, no, actually, I think I have three. Never mind. Some more Bird of Calamity. Yeah, these packs have not been good. Uh, pack 18. Um, and still nothing great. Takuhi. More Call of the Grave. Weather Painter Sun. Pack 19. Oh, oh, what do we got? Come on, come on, come on. Give me something good, please, please, please. Oh, oh, it's the Barkeon. It's the stupid Barkeon dragon. Oh, no, it's Guardian. Oh, okay, that's not bad. That's actually not bad. I have a deck that I can actually use a second Goyo Guardian, so that's okay. It's good. Not bad. It's better than the Barkeon. <laughs> I, I thought for sure it was the Barkeon. I was like, don't give me that stupid card. But okay, Goyo Guardian's not bad. Valifar, Temple of Skulls. More Thunder... I think I have all the Thunder Rhinos. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Gave me so many Thunder Rhinos. Uh, yeah, the Guardian's not bad. Uh, like I said, I have a deck I can throw him in. So now I have two copies, which I guess is good. Uh, did not want some more... Yeah, these packs have not been great. This is really the only usable card for me so far. Out of all these cards, I get... Well, again, this will be useful when I actually build the X-Saber deck. Um, yeah, two, two Call of the Grave. Two useless birds. Uh, all right, well, we have enough for four more packs. So we're going to build four packs. <laughs> build. We're going to buy. <laughs> we're going to buy four packs, not build them. Okay, come on, four packs. Please give me something. Give me something. Come on, give me the Gotems. Another Abaki. Magical Star Illusion. Ooh, more duplication. End of the world. Last minute cancel. Revival. Did not have that. You know, I see more duplication in these packs than I do in packs in real life. Even from the smaller sets. Right, two more packs to go. Reprint, Robin Zombie, oh, Odd-Eyes Dragon. Last pack. Oh, here we go. Will it be worth it? Oh, we got a BAM. <gasps> it's a trap card. Oh, okay, either, e please, either of the Saber traps I will be happy with. Don't give me the, 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 the weather one. Please don't be the weather one. Thank you. Okay, Saber Hole. Very nice. That's useful. That will be useful for me. Okay, so... Pretty average opening, man. Got a fair amount of Super Rare and Ultra Rare. Um, but yeah, the Saber Hole was really the only one I wanted. Out of all the cards that I really wanted, which was the Saber Hole, the Gotham's, and the Airbellum, I only got one. Well, the cat, I would have been happy with the cat, although I don't really need it. But yeah, these are the two that I, I was thinking. Oh well. It's about as good as it's going to get, man. The good thing is that I just unlocked Kalen, and he's at level one still, so I can level him up and get all his gems. And then I recently opened this chick uh, just yesterday, so she's only level 11. So I can continue to push her level up and uh, get some extra gems. In fact, let me go back to this Duelist Road thing. Where was I? Is this the right one? Area 3? Okay, yeah, let's do this. Okay. 
Duel. The weird thing is that they let this duel be a two-on-one duel. I actually find it harder to beat this guy when I have to have Kaylin as my partner. Uh, is this? Oh, this is the speed ride deck. Here, you all get to see the speed rides. Again, this deck is not done, but I'm just kind of messing with it right now. Let's see. Yo-yo. Yeah, this is not the best starting hand. But it's better than nothing. Don't screw this up for me, Kalen. Last time Kalen kept summon kept summoning monsters. And um, he filled up the field so I couldn't get any of my speed raid stuff out. Man, two copies of that now. Crap. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna dump his Dark Greffer. Bring that out. Uh, we're not gonna use the effect. Yeah, because it's a because it's a partner duel, you can't really see how well this deck can actually work. Because I'm also having to deal with his crap. <laughs> I mean, his deck isn't terrible. It's just it doesn't really mesh all that well with speed droids. Duel you with that speed ride deck. Well, like I said, it's still it's still in the works. Uh, there's still changes I want to make to it. In fact, here I'll show you the deck. Hey, we get extra bonuses. Come on. Okay. Come on. And I don't think I even have an ability assigned to it yet. But yeah, this is what it is right now. And again, I'm going to change this up probably. Uh, but two, and two of the yo-yos, which again can be very useful. Uh, one of the dendens, two of the red eyes dice. I'm thinking of taking out one of these because it's a five star. Uh, I'm probably going to take out one of these and probably put in maybe another one of these. That seems to actually be kind of useful. Uh, then we got three of the Pachingo cart, um, backfield control, galaxy, and cosmic. Three of the speed recovery. They're basically monster reborns for speed raid cards. Um, two of the prisons, uh, two of the walls, uh, two kendamas, uh, two hagoida. I can probably put in. I've found that I can do um, level seven. Uh, monsters as well so I'm thinking two more um, synchro monsters that are level seven uh, would work out just fine in fact let me look and see if I can find some right now come on <clears throat> Zim and the ape king uh, let's see level seven I'm trying uh, wasn't oh uh chaos arc fiend i think was a good level seven i could probably add in but yeah level six and level sevens are probably the easiest for me to summon i can bring level fives too but i figure if i can get a six or a seven then might as well bring those because that's gonna be a little more powerful so let me see uh filter synchro monsters actually let me Levels seven and six. <clears throat> but yeah, the Chaos Arc Fiend would probably be a good card to have in here. Where is he? Sort by name. He should be right up here. Oh, is this backwards? It is backwards. <laughs> there we go. 
Uh, Pixie won't work in this. I don't run field spells. Um, let's see what else we got. Sacred Wyvern, Arcanite Magician, no. Oh yeah, Flame Veil. He's always good. Fortune Lady. There's the Chaos uh, King Arcfiend. He's always useful. I, I can put him in there. I can always take him out too if I don't feel I need him. But I do... There are times when I can get both of these out really quickly. I'm trying to think. What's another good 6 or 7 star monster? I'd rather go with a 6. Simple because it's just easier to bring it out. But it's also nice to have that 7 in there. Dirac... Tree, Lava of the Great, Lightning Warrior is not terrible. I'd like to have a nice big attacking monster, like one that's exceptionally powerful. Like a Phantom Beast, Mighty Warrior, Moon Dragon, Quila, Nitro Warrior. That needs Nitro Synchron though. Cyframe, Power Tool Dragon, I don't use Equips, Powered Insectron. Red Rising Dragon. Oh, that takes a Fiend. Red Eyes Zombie Necro Dragon. One tuner, one or more non-tuner monsters. And there's, oh, that's only that usually helps with zombie types. Reptilian Hydra. Revived King Hades. Plague Spreader. Uh, Samurai Destroyer. That actually might work. This card battles an opponent's monster. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. Also, that opponent's monster has its effects negated during the battle phase only. If this face-up card in its owner's control leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, you can target one machine-type monster in your guard special summon it. This is machines, so Samurai Destroyer actually makes sense. He's, he's a good card, too. And he's a 7-star. I think I'm going to go with him. I can always make changes later, but we'll go with him. And again, same thing here. I think I want to take one of these guys out. I'm trying to think, though, what do I want to put in? Because I've already got three of these. I think these two are good. This guy I don't really use that much, but he's never really hurt me. Uh, the yo-yo, I think any more than two yo-yos is overkill, so I think I'm going to do another one of these. The Razor Ring. <clears throat> Let's take that out. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm going to do. Just to oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, I forgot about this guy. The High Speed Ride Puzzle. Well, let me see what he does. Two or more two monsters. At the start of the damage type of this card, battles a special summon monster. Make this card's attack become double. It's current attack until the end of the damage step. Once per turn, during the end phase of this card is in the graveyard because synchro summon card, um, because the synchro uh, synchro summon card was sent there from the field this turn. Target one speed or monster in your graveyard except high speed or puzzle. Add it to your hand. Eh, I'm not crazy about that. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I think. Oh yeah, extra deck. Take that out. Banish one speedbird monster from your graveyard, then target one synchro monster you control until the end of the banished monster's level. Okay. Uh, it gains attack equal to that monster's level times 500. Ooh. That's interesting. Let's see, were there any others? A Haji Kid. When this card is normal summoned, you can target one tutor monster and deploy your graveyard special summon to your side of the field. And if you do, immediately after this effect resolves, Synchro summon one wind synchro monster using that monster in this card only. That I'm not crazy about because the card that's probably going to be in the graveyard is going to be this guy. Um, so I would have to put that four star. I, I basically have to put this guy in there, and I don't really want to do that. The stilts I passed on. I just I'm just not crazy about that effect. Yeah, let's put this in, and let's take out one of these guys. And again, I don't even have a skill set because she doesn't, yeah, she doesn't really have any skills that I can use. So we'll do that. <clears throat> mm, let me go to the gate here real quick. 
Well, let me see. What is what what level is Cyrus offering? You have forty. That's a level ten. Run two kite rides. Don't really need kite rides. You'll see what I mean. This again, if I get a fairly decent hand, you'll see what I mean. This deck actually does fairly well. Here, in fact, we do X three because I have that bonus going right now. <coughs> But yeah, I don't really need kite rides. I mean, I guess if I find that I'm struggling, I could add one, maybe take something else out, but yeah. That's the whole idea, is just practice with this deck, so that's what I've been doing. And then it looks like she bricked. Yeah, I think she bricked. Dang, I probably should have brought the yo-yo. I didn't even think about that until afterwards. Because if I'd have brought the yo-yo, I could have won right now. But I can't attack with this. Okay, well there you go. That's why we're practicing. So next time I know, don't bring that. Bring the yo-yo instead and you could have won. <laughs> or I could have also done speed recovery. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Oh, look at you. Ouch. Look at this woman. <laughs> this still doesn't count. Well, it doesn't matter because I'll check this out. This is what I love about this. Look at this. This discard a card. Dump their monster. Speed recovery. Uh, I can bring back the razor. Now he can attack because he's, he's uh, special summoned. It feels like the deck has a lot of options. Like, if one thing doesn't work for you, you can always do something else. Hey, 35 gems. Oh, we got another Lumina. All right, we got the Blair mat. I could face somebody that's a little tougher. Her, she's actually not that hard. Um, let me think, who's tough at the gate? Kaiba can sometimes be pretty tough. Scud's terrible, um, Mokuba's terrible. Set, Seto's not bad. He's got uh, blue eyes. Yeah, his, his deck can sometimes cause problems. And he's got really powerful monsters, so <clears throat> I think this deck should be able to take care of those really powerful monsters, though, simply because of the uh, the cart's ability to destroy monsters. Hmm. This isn't the best starting hand. I'm gonna lose my cart. I just know it. Yeah, blue eyes. Ouchie! Oh, the dice. Very nice. So, we're going to bring our second cart. If there was ever a time that I needed a trap or some backfield, it would be right now. Yeah. See, there you go. I did not get a good hand this time around. So, oh, are you serious? Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, I need traps. There's a trap. See what we can work out here. Um, let's do five. Let's do a three. Okay. 
No, no, no. We're going to do okay. We're doing okay here. Watch. Uh, what does the dice do again? <laughs> this card can only summon can target one spirit monster you control. Except, oh, that's right. I can change the level. Okay. So, yes. We're going to do that. <clears throat> I'm actually changing him to a level two. Yes. We can bring this guy out. Yes, this is the new update for Pokemon. <laughs> what does this thing do? It can vanish from the monster for five points of damage. Okay, so let's see. That would be three, 17. Okay, well, we'll do it. But I got a prison, so we're going to do okay here. <clears throat> nice, nice. Could bring that guy. We're just going to do the Kandama. Come on. Hey, look at that. <laughs> the comeback. <laughs> that got a little scary there for a minute. We got the comeback going. That's why I was like, yeah, uh, Seto can be kind of tough sometimes. And got those big monsters. He gave me a zebra and a gem. <clears throat> so yeah, like I said, this this deck isn't super super competitive, but it's fun to play. I have fun playing it. It, it kind of makes me think of the uh, of the old uh, like his old deck, the Vehicroids or whatever. The yeah, his Roid deck. But this is just called Speed Raid. I mean, you could technically mesh those two decks together. But the only problem I see with that is because the decks are generally about 20 cards, if you try to mesh them both together, it'll feel a little weird. Like you're trying to do too much with it. Crystal Wing Synchron Dragon. You know, that's a good one. That's a seven star, right? That's one monster I didn't think of. Is he a machine? I don't think he's a machine, though. I mean, I could put him in, but the reason I put the samurai in there is because he's a machine. He benefits the entire deck. That's why I put him in there. But Crystal Wing, he's not bad. But I also have uh, the Chaos King Arc Fiend, which I've used before, and he's damn useful. So the the Samurai Destroyer and the Chaos King Arcane are my two seven stars as far as synchros go. <clears throat> so yeah, I can take a look at that. Because what I could probably do, <clears throat> excuse me, is because I don't really summon this guy very much. I could probably take out one of him, and if I want to, I could put the uh, the Crystal Wing in there. He's, I believe, level seven. Do I have him? I thought I had him. Maybe I don't. Is Crystal Wing even in the game? I don't even remember. I'm trying to remember between Link Evolution and this, because it's obviously in Link Evolution. But uh, I don't even remember if it's, in, if it's in Duel Links. That's what I get for playing both games. Nitro Warrior. Yeah, these are they are these are our options for seven star. And again, this guy is just useful. He's always useful. Um, this one, another one of my favorites, just doesn't do anything in this deck. But the uh, the Samurai Destroyer is very useful here. 
he's just a good card. And he helps out machines. So this deck, again, it still needs a little improvement, but it's not terrible. It, it just, the, the cards feel like they mesh together really well. I think once I find a decent skill to go with it, um, it'll be even better, obviously. I'm gonna go and play this guy again. Come on. Again, I don't really like playing with Kaylin, but... Oh, that's right. I can turn in all my coins now. <laughs> I can let you all see what crap I get from my coins. Every time I do one of these coin-type events, I always end up with crap. Well, I don't pay money for this game. Not anymore. <clears throat> yeah, I don't dump any money into this game. It doesn't pay me, so I'm not going to pay it. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, let's put that guy up there. The launcher, beetles. What are you bringing? More beetles. Wow, look at you. Go Kalen. Okay, this was way too easy. <laughs> this was way too easy. I'm actually going <laughs> to send away his Infernity Card King. I'm bringing the Kendama because it has piercing. Yeah, that was a bit too easy. <clears throat> it all depends, though, what you mean by free-to-play nowadays. Because you can get pretty much every card in the game without spending money. Even, even, the, the, um, even the structure decks, it just takes a lot of gems. <laughs> so you can get everything without even spending a penny. So I don't know, would you call that free to play or I guess you technically have to because no money was spent. Infernity Destroyer. The guy looks weird with his ears. He's got them funky ears going. <clears throat> We've only got one more time to go through this entire thing, and then I guess, uh... Well, it doesn't take long to get through these anyway. These duels are so fast. And then we can, um, spend all of our coins. Oh, this guy's so ridiculously easy. I'm just gonna auto-duel him. I have noticed, though, I did auto-duel a couple of times with this speed ride deck, and I've noticed that sometimes they do really stupid stuff. Like, this isn't actually a bad idea here. There you go. Do that. Bring that back. Turn that into a six. There you go. Bring your destroyer. Good move. Card destruction, huh? Ooh, look at all that. There you go. Bring your Kendama. Nice. Good job. There you go. That was played perfectly. Probably going to get some more packs once I get enough gems. Because I really do want to build that X Saber deck. It looks like it'd be kind of cool. As long as it took me to build this freaking Speed Ride deck, I hope it doesn't take me that long to build the X Sabers. Beat us both. I'm just gonna let it auto duel. <laughs> it's pretty much auto dueling anyway. <clears throat> Dre, what deck do you have? Did you actually build the speed ride deck? 
Or did you just, do you still have like the old school stuff? Speaking of which, Dre, did you get the new, um, oh, I wouldn't have done that. Oh, I would have done something different there. Did you get the new fur hire cards? I'm telling you, man, I like Bravo, dude. Bravo is such a good card. Oh, why are you doing this? You're doing this wrong. No, you could have won there. Ah. Yes, Secret Barrel. We're never going to get Secret Barrel. It's just going to be that card that Lawton always has. It's too good. Yeah, they could have won a little bit sooner there. Yeah, at this point, I'm just collecting the R tokens. Can use those. Hey, we finally got his face. I was also playing with Carly, too. Carly Carmine, because I I unlocked her, leveled her up, then I unlocked Kaylin, and then just last, I think it was last night, I unlocked uh, Blair. So I got a lot of little characters that I can level up now and get lots of gems. Wow, you didn't have a, why didn't you? Hmm. Bring that. There you go. Okay. Ah, oh, the 2000 Defender. Oh my god. Look, this is going to get really slow now. <laughs> and again, the field is full, so I can't bring anything else. Yeah, this is, this is going to get a little weird. Here. They're not going to do what I need them to do to get past this, so I'm going to have to take over here. Okay, yeah, see, they're not doing anything. I've got a wall down there, I know, right? I have a wall? No, I don't. Oh, my God. Ugh. She has the wall in her hand. Wait, is this a con This is a continuous... Okay, I'm going to activate this just so it can eventually go away, because we don't need this stupid card. I didn't want to have to dump the yo-yo, but I'm going to have to. Yeah, because we got to get rid of this stupid monster here. Oh, are you serious? Ugh. That's actually not terrible. Not terrible. Thank God, got her. The please don't send another. <sighs> Kaylin, I hate you so much. Draw a monster. It's not a monster. Damn it. And again, I can't put the freaking wall down there because somebody just has to keep playing their cards. It's not going to work. Come on. <laughs> Cantlin's just being a dick. He's like, no, man, I'm going to do it my way. Your way sucks, man. <clears throat> this is so slow. We could have won like five turns ago. Turn 28. Come on, man. <laughs> Just stop it with this already. Just go away. Ugh. Here, I'm just... Just dump another yo-yo to destroy this thing. See, that card's just been sitting there. It's useless. Why even bring it? Stupid Kaylin. Our 
trying to make this quick, Kaylin. Come on. We want to op- We want to spend our, our little uh, tickets here. I guess they give us a game mat once we complete all that. Is that the thing? We get a game mat? No. Bonus. <clears throat> Man. I'm still bummed about what happened to our buddy. I know you all probably heard at this point. I'm really bummed. I feel so bad for her. Because, I mean, she's been streaming this game for years at this point. And they just, I, I just, I don't understand how they did that or why they did it. I mean, just so weird. Yeah, we we're we're trying to like at first she was just like nah let's not worry about it, but then earlier today she sent out several tweets, uh, <clears throat> explaining what happened and how she had spent so many hours on the game and how she'd spent a lot of money on the game. And um, at that point, I was like, okay, maybe she's thinking differently now because, um, oh, you don't you already heard seven? I think you did. Well, I announced it yesterday in, in uh, Discord. But our buddy Ai-chan, uh, who I've been watching her for well over a year now, we all know who she is. She comes and she visits uh, um, the streams here every now and then. And um, she, uh, <clears throat> yeah, she got uh, she got banned from Duel Links. Um, I don't know what they used to basically say that she. They claim she was cheating. And I'm thinking, just, I mean, I don't get it. I, I really don't. She obviously, I mean, she streams pretty much every time she plays Duel Links, she streams it. So we can see what she's doing. And it isn't as if she was this unbeatable player. I mean, she lost a fair amount of times. Uh, so it wasn't like, you know, they claim, or what, or what the message claimed is that during her duels, um, some additional um, data was being sent, they said. Um, and so because of that, they assumed that she was um, using third-party software, <clears throat> which uh, is dumb. Because, I again, I've never seen anything that even made me think that she was a cheater. I still think she isn't. Uh, because, again, it just, you know... <clears throat> I just uh, it just doesn't seem right to me. Uh, but yeah, they claim that she used uh, third-party software, and we uh, she actually addressed one thing. She had mentioned that uh, a while back, um, because on Steam, <clears throat> you you can't download uh, the Japanese sounds, you know, or the, or the Japanese voiceover. Um, which is kind of a bummer because I would like to have the Japanese voiceover. You can only download the English or the Korean uh, voiceover. <clears throat> and so one time she says a while back that she tried to go in and patch, like manually patch the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Japanese uh, voiceover into the game files, but it didn't work. Uh, and so she got rid of all that stuff. And she was just like, ah, screw it. And she just got rid of it all. And since then, she's not tried to do anything like that. Um, but yeah, now just suddenly yesterday, they came out and said, yeah, you're, you're banned because we think you're using third-party software. Uh, so yeah, that, it sucks pretty bad. Um, I felt really bad for her. Um, <clears throat> like she was trying to play cool and everything, which you know you generally want to do, but I can you could just see it in her eyes. She was so upset, she really was, you know. And I feel for her too, man, because she, like I said, she's been streaming that game for years at this point. She's built a, a really good following just uh, from streaming Duel Links. She streams other games and stuff. Like she'll do like League of Legends, or she'll do um, Beat Saber, uh, which I like watching her play Beat Saber. That's actually pretty funny. Um, 
but yeah, she really, really enjoyed Duel Links. I mean, if you know who she is and you've followed her uh, at all, you know she likes going to events. She can't go to events right now because of the whole virus thing. Uh, but she likes going to events for uh, with Konami. She likes uh, dressing up. She dressed up as, I think she dressed up as Dark Magician Girl. She dressed up as Skyba. Uh, she does the cosplay stuff. Um, so yeah, she was she's into it, you know. She's this is this is part of who she is. And um, to see that happen to her, it's just it sucks, man. It really does. Toward the end of her stream yesterday, when I was watching, I didn't say see today's stream, but I saw yesterday's stream. Um, and she was like I said, she was talking about it and stuff. And right toward, I mean, we were just trying to be cool with her, just trying to be like, hey, it's cool, man. We'll still come watch your shows, and if you want to, you know, try to re-up with a new account you know we'll, we'll hang out with you and we'll play we'll help you get new cards that kind of stuff you know we're just trying to be supportive of her um but yeah it just it really and i can't blame her either man because like i said when you when you play something like a game or you get really involved in something and you put literally years of your life into it and then suddenly that you know avenue just says nah we don't want you anymore get out and you sincerely didn't do anything it's like the rejection man i can only imagine the rejection it it really must suck like when i was when i played uh the tcg back in like i think i've mentioned this to you too like in 03 or 04 um i went to this store and i'd only gone to that store a few times uh, but I knew a lot of the players there. So whenever I went, everybody was like, hey, you know, I knew everybody. And the owner, um, you know, to make the long story short, the owner just didn't want me to be there anymore and said, yeah, you're not welcome in my store anymore. And so I collected my things and I left. And then on the drive home, I just got a little angry. Like, why? You know, what's the what's the deal here? And then the next day is when it really started to hit me. It's like, man, that that rejection, that feeling of rejection, man. It just it sucks, dude. And I'm I'm pretty sure that's how she's feeling right now. And I really do feel for her, dude. Uh, but yeah, she she put out a tweet today, uh, basically saying what was going on and. The weird thing is, is that when she got banned, because uh, they lock you out of your account, and she went to, I guess, the forums. I didn't even know they had forums. <laughs> she went to the Duel Links forums, and she put a message on there saying, hey, can I talk to somebody about this? Can I appeal my ban? What can I do here? Um, and the response she got back was, uh, yeah, but we can only help you if you submit a ticket from within the game. <laughs> and she's like, uh, but I can't get in the game. So how am I supposed to, you know, file a ticket? And so it's like, okay. <laughs> and it's true. What is she supposed to do, man? She can't get into the game to file a ticket. So yeah, it's, it's, it's all sorts of, it's all sorts of screwed up, man. But, um, yeah, she put that tweet out today and she didn't, she didn't list Konami or Konami Europe on the uh, on the tweet uh, because yesterday like I said she didn't really want to make a big deal out of it but it feels like today like she's kind of it's kind of really hitting her she's like no this is this is I want my account back you know and so I went ahead and I forwarded the tweet with a message uh, to Konami and to Konami Europe and I sincerely don't think anything's gonna happen I mean I'm not like a big deal or anything but I wrote a message and I said, hey, you know, it really makes me think, do I want to spend money on a game like this that can just suddenly come out of the dark and say, oh, we're banning you. And then all that money and all that time I invested is just gone. Because it's true, man. I mean, think of it this way. I've played Duel Links for, what, three years now? And I've put in, I haven't put in a ton of money, but I think overall I've spent a couple hundred dollars, you know, over the last three years. And if they suddenly came out and said, yeah, you're, you, we think you're cheating, you're banned. And if I'm like, okay, can I appeal this? And they're like, eh, no. I'd be pissed. I'd be really pissed. Because again, you all know, I don't, I don't stream Duel Links as much as I used to. But I have streamed it a lot. I've made a lot of videos on it. I've streamed it for, you know, probably over a thousand hours at this point. 
And again, I've spent money on it. I've spent time on it. You know, I've actually told people to get into the game and to have them come out and say, we think you're cheating, you're banned, even though, you know, you know deep down that you've never cheated. It's like, come on, man. That's like a slap in the face, dude. I'd be just, ugh. I can't even imagine it, dude. It's so screwed up. It's it's just, it's stupid. It's, you know. But it's like, what can you do, man? There, then there, It's true. There really isn't a lot you can do. That's, you know, Konami's like, well, if we say you're banned, you're banned. And they make it really hard to appeal bans. Let's spend some coins because I'm getting depressed now. <laughs> Come on, give me some cards. Let's see, how many gems can we get? We got two gems out of that. Uh, nothing great there. We got 5,100 coins to get through here. Come on, man, give me something better than this. What is that, one gem? A cat? Come on, no gems here. Really? Ah, this is bad. Yeah, I mean, because I want to, you know, and there are a few of us out there um, that have kind of, you know, during the stream, we sort of talked about it, about, yeah, let's, you know, some people, I wasn't thinking of doing the hashtag thing. Some people were talking about it, though. And I kind of thought, well, it is possible that I could do something. But then, you know, iChan was like, no, no, let's not do the hashtag stuff. But again, like I said, because of that tweet that she put out today, it feels like she really wants I mean, obviously, she wants her account back, <clears throat> but at the same time, she doesn't want to, like, make it seem like she's calling on the troops. You know what I mean? Like, she doesn't want to come across like that kind of person that is, you know, secretly vindictive that's like, oh, well, I have a lot of followers. I'm going to get them to attack you. Arr! You know, she doesn't want to do that. She doesn't want to come across like that. But at the same time, some of us feel like, you know. What do you mean? What did she say? She said a lot. You have to be specific. <laughs> do you mean yesterday, today, what? I mean, it's if you follow her on Twitter, we follow each. She and I follow each other on Twitter. So if you follow her on Twitter, you can see the the tweet she did today. What do we got here? Infernity Inferno. And five gems. Come on, man! I've saved up all these coins. Um, let's see, one gem again. Uh, hold on, let me bring it up real quick. Let's see, Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. And not only that, but she, she, she posted about it today on Instagram too. And of course, you know how social media can be sometimes. Um, this is somebody in, uh, who's that beeping me? Hold on. Someone's beeping me on my phone. Yeah, someone's beeping my phone. <laughs> Somebody actually, um, I guess, just hearted my tweet about this, <laughs> which is interesting. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, Christopher Rodriguez. I don't know who this person is, but uh, they just followed me, so thank you. Um, and they hearted my uh, comment on I this is basically what I chan said um, and this is this is per her Twitter account um, I have spent about 3,000 hours in game and about $1,300 uh, I've been very faithful to Kaiba the last three years she's kind of making it a little silly but at the same time it's still kind of serious been very faithful to Kaiba the last three years even though he is a greedy and needy bitch <laughs> I do not comprehend what happened overnight but obviously I've been banned uh, and then hashtag Yu-Gi-Oh, hashtag Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Links, hashtag Duel Links. And then it has a screenshot of uh, the little notice that she got. And the notice basically says this. It says, we have noticed that during duels, your account has been sending data that would not be sent if playing the game normally. Our terms of use strictly prohibits the use of any unauthorized third-party software. Thus, we have permanently banned your account according to our terms of use. And then it basically gives a link to the products and services. Please note that we can only respond to inquiries submitted forms in English. And then again, like I had mentioned earlier, is that when she went to the forums, um, they her their response to her was, well, you have to submit a ticket in-game. 
which again she can't do <laughs> so it's 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 just stupid it's the whole situation is just dumb it's like why you know i again like i said I, i've watched a lot of her shows never once did it even look like she was cheating so i can't i can't agree with them saying that they think she was cheating and if they were if they were a little more open about the whole thing maybe i'd feel a little better like if maybe they said well this is what we think happened and not just oh we think that there's third party software because technically right now and watch me get banned for this but technically right now during the duels that i've been playing here i'm running th third party software obs yeah the stuff that i used to broadcast i'm running that i'm running my restream chat you know um but obviously it doesn't give me any advantage in a duel my question is how do they know what third-party software was doing or if it actually gave any sort of advantage because if they are coming back and saying oh well it may have been something like obs we all run obs <laughs> all of the streamers well you know some other streamers use different um software like the Streamlabs obs but you you get what i'm saying we all run that software when we're streaming so is that the software they claim to be detecting because yes, of course it's going to send data. It sends data the entire stream. <laughs> and I'm thinking, are they detecting that? <laughs> I hope not, because if so, then they would have obviously detected me. Because I use OBS. Arcfiend's call. Ugh. More Arcfiend or Inferno Inferno. Uh, and then the other one I use is I use Restream Chat, which sends data back and forth. Not in the Duel Link server, obviously. Uh, but it does send data, you know, so that we can chat. Another gem. Okay, so far this has been very underwhelming. <laughs> I've spent half of my coins, and this is terrible so far. Yep, two more gems. Five more gems. Yeah, this is very underwhelming. Oh, this is bad. Come on, give me at least one copy of the stupid dragon card. Come on, one copy. I've already got one copy, I think. But just give me one copy of the dragon card, please. Wow, this is so terrible. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Two more gems. This is terrible. This is why I hate these coin ones. They always seem to screw me over. Always. I mean, how much more do they want me to play to do this? <laughs> well, I got 10 gems there. That's not terrible. I've got two more rolls here. Oh, I got another 10 gems. Yeah, so you got another 10 gems, so I guess that's good. They heard me, they're like, shut up, we'll just give you gems. Oh, I just want a copy of the card, please. I'm, I'll probably never use it, but... I just you know please give me a copy of the card no no copy and <laughs> they're saying no you get no copy hold on i'm gonna check the lottery reward list okay yeah one one and two yeah but still all that and i've only got one copy of this thing it's an ugly card look at this thing this thing is hideous looking it's like a it's like a dragon with weird wings and like lobster claws and what are these antlers what is this it's just <laughs> buy it at the card trader i'm probably gonna have to well the thing is is that i was hoping that i could spend those little green tokens to get this upgraded to um uh, to prismatic you know i didn't want to have to spend it on another card yeah see because i already have one of these or i thought i did upgrade to go what are you Look at this. This is weird. It says I have one. What is going on here? It says I have one that's supposed to be glossy, but apparently it's not. That is stupid. Look, see, it says one right there in the middle. It's not. Okay. Because, yeah, if it was. <sighs> Upgrade to glossy. Okay, never mind. There it goes. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. But yeah, I was hoping to just spend the 400 and get, you know, a prismatic version. 
and then hopefully spend additional copies to get this or maybe put this one to a prismatic version but oh well are there any other cards in here that no they're all crap dokura writer oh yeah well i'll actually get some more uh, skill chips too screw it we're going to prismatic There, I have one prismatic card. <laughs> uh, that's a lot. So yeah, if I if I upgrade it to glossy, then I'll need like twenty five more to get it to prismatic. <sighs> yeah, but that's the whole thing. Oh, I can go get one more booster pack. Let's go get Bravo. I actually haven't gotten a Bravo. Still missing Bravo. Not that I'm gonna make the deck, but. I do want to get X Sabers. Come on, give me, give me a Bravo. It's, Bravo's a normal card. It's normal rarity. It shouldn't be hard to get. Yeah, 24 packs in, but I don't think I have a copy of it. <laughs> Stamp Turtle. End of the world. Hey, X Saber Sousa. Did not have that guy. That's good. Did you get Bravo? No, I have not gotten a Bravo yet. I got Helmer and I got Philo, which is this little guy here. So yeah, there's the Philo. I don't use this one in Link Evolution either, though, so that's kind of useless to me. And then there's uh, down here, you've got Helmer, which I got two copies of that, too. Again, I don't use that in Link Evolution, but here's uh, Bravo. Again, he's just a normal. No more rarity, but I like him. He's a good card. He's not like a like a big trump card or anything. He's not gonna win the duel for you in a lot of cases, but he's still a very solid card. So yeah, like the X Saber Ruse, I wanna get more of that. And then I wanna get another copy of this guy. And there's some other X Saber like Axel. Oh, I already have two copies of that? Huh. Two should be fine, but of course I'll get more. And then of course we've got this guy up here, which I want. And then I want these, the, the another copy of Saber Hole and the Godam's Emergency Goal. So yeah, I actually do want stuff from the box, so at least spending the gems is not useless for me. So yeah. And I also got the Goyo Guardian already. Well, I already had one, but now I've got a second one, so there you go. But I was saying earlier, there are a lot of reprints in this box. Look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, re, um, 16 reprints. It's a lot of reprints, man. And then, of course, if you add up how many copies of that are in the are in the box, that's a lot of copies of reprints, man. I think that's crap. <sighs> but I mean, like I said, the box is it's okay. It's it's not amazing. Um. I just feel like if they were going to do, if they were going to go hardcore Infernity, they would have gone a little harder here. There is some good Infernity stuff here, but I felt it could have been stronger. If they would have added like two more really good Infernity cards, then it would have been much better. But it feels like they, they called it Infernity Destruction, but it's really a Simorg box. Because there's a lot of the Simorg stuff in here. Look at that, two Ultra Rares are Simorg. At this point, it's like, just call it some org destruction, but they know they can't sell birds. <laughs> they, kn they know nobody will buy a sim org box, so they call it Infernity. Because Infernity just sounds better. Heck, they could have called it an X Saber box. X Saber would have probably sold. So yeah, the Airbellum looks... He's okay. I don't need him, but I'd like to have him. But I really want these. Saber Hole and Gotham's. Saber Hole is just a good card. I love the fact that it's a counter. Counter trap cards are good counter trap cards that have very low threshold for activation are pretty rare. And this one has pretty low threshold for activation. All you have to do is control an X-Saber monster and you can negate a normal summon or a special summon. That's pretty awesome. Anyway, I think I'm done. What time is it, man? 
This is like, oh, it's 10.38 already. And it's a Friday. I think I'm going to go play some Star Trek online. I'm bored. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I appreciate it. Um, go send iChat some love. I iChat some love, man. She's, uh, like I said, she was pretty upset over that whole thing. Um, ow! <laughs> Try not to make a huge deal about it. Because, like I said, it sounded like she didn't want to make a huge deal about it. But, uh, you know, it's always nice to hear from people that, you know. <sighs> anyway, I will see you all tomorrow, maybe. Until then, be nice to each other. Eat a potato.